Um, I've had the pleasure of working with them for a number of years and this year the business is celebrating its 20th year. So throughout the whole year we've been holding different events and different sort of strategies to put the spotlight on the business because I do think that 20 years in business should be celebrated Mm -hmm. so you know we were part of Murray Doors Open Day this year you know an engineering company you know how you know is that really that interesting well do you know what we had over 150 people through the door you know we had STEM activities for the kids which is obviously really a hot topic at the moment we had a barbecue all Mm -hmm. obviously free to the public but the purpose was one it gave us media coverage But two, it put a spotlight on the business that people might not have known about. It might have, you know, we're hoping that it's inspired the next generation of, of young engineers as well. So that was, you know, these are just small things, really. But it generate, it has generated publicity throughout the whole year for that one company, you know, doing all these different wee, wee events and stunts, if you like. What is it that you find difficult about the job that you do or that you don't like so much? Is there anything that I don't particularly like? Maybe you enjoy everything. Well, some some people do. We, the weird thing is that this comes down to the wiring within within me and probably Jill as well, is that weirdly, like when the chips are down, even when something's not really quite going the way you'd planned it, mm-hmm. then that's probably where I really sort of move into my element. Don't think that at the time, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you might feel the pressure mounting on yourself to come up with a solution for it. Uh, for a particular problem but that's and, and and in some ways that's when you feel sort of most alive that's when you feel that you're really working and and using your your brain cells to come up with a solution so i don't there's nothing i, I don't start any day thinking oh man i've got to work with this particular t- technology or house today are there any misconceptions that people have about the organization are there any is there any information which people have, which is maybe incorrect or something about how the organization works or operates? I don't think there's a misconception, but I do think a lot of people still don't know what we do. Mm -hmm. I know certainly we can, we get groups of people or um, clinicians visit in the center and they all, without exception, say, I had no idea that you did so much. Mm -hmm. Um, So, I think some people think that we're a shop on the high street. (laughs) Um, So it's really important that we get out there and promote the services because if people don't know, then they're going to miss out on the support that we can offer them. And people will come in and say, I wish wish I'd known you were there six months ago when I was diagnosed. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and, you know, small gestures as well. Um, you know, we're talking about Tom there. Mm-hmm. I do have another son, Adam, better mention him. But yeah, <laughs> Tom, you know, he was poorly this week and he asked for some sweeties. And I said, mm-hmm. yeah, of course you can. And it was, you know, the little packets of love hearts. Oh, yeah. You know, they were like left yeah. over from Halloween. Mm-hmm. We're still getting through all the Halloween <laughs> truck and we're just about to get into the Christmas truck. <laughs> but, you know, so he had like the teeny tiny packet and I was yeah. I brought my office downstairs so that at least I was with him. Mm-hmm. I wasn't upstairs in the office. Yeah. And I went, I went off to the loo and came back. And then on my keyboard, there was the I love you, sweetie, that he'd oh. left for me. And I just, and actually, you know, there's me kind of going, oh, I could really do without mm. this this week. Mm-hmm. But actually, that yeah. just lifted me. I thought, you know what? This is why I'm doing what I do so that I can be here for him and his mm-hmm. brother and all of those other things that we've spoken about. What is it like working together? It seems to work for us. We Mm -hmm. have different skill sets. And your mum says I've got the patience of a saint. Oh, you do. (laughs) Maybe you have with me. Yeah, and I've got hearing that can just switch off and on, you see. So (laughs) I think we call it selective hearing. So it works perfectly. It's harmonious every day. No, it definitely definitely would work for every couple, but pretty much. Mm. Underlying, though, we the it's the same it's it's like raising your a family or or just living as a couple together if if underlying the sort of principles with the way that you live and our and values your, are and your same. values are the mm. same then it hits the nail in the head you're done and ours remarkably are somehow aligned so they it, on you know, we get on well really we just talk mm-hmm. things through it's it's communication that's all it is I don't know that I think things are important. Mm-hmm. 
if, if it would have to be something that was close to beside me sort of thing mm -hmm. you know um because things aren't important i mean people people are important can uh, and as you say, if the people and the animals are out safely, then nothing else really does matter. I mean, there are memories. Of course, there's things that can't be replaced that you have in your home. Can there's there's photographs and and, and memories and things that, you, but you can't guard. There's there's too many of them to be. You know that you you couldn't collect them all and take them with you. So depending mm -hmm. if it is a you know a, a fire, they say just leave everything and get out. So. Mm -hmm. Make sure everybody's safe, Ken. And yeah, I just hope that I have saved it to the cloud properly. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's that's a great message because um, objects are replaceable; people are not, um, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. I think any moment where you experience some kind of trauma, any kind mm -hmm. of trauma, whether it's yeah. you know. I can't even think. I don't want to start listing traumas. Don't Any time... It's <laughs> like an episode of Casualty or something. Getting up in the morning. No, but I think <laughs> it's really important that any type of trauma, mm -hmm. you use it as a measure for what is important. Yeah. And to take stock. Stop. Yeah. Stop and take stock. And actually, you know, I've got things swimming around in my head at the minute. You know, it's my boy's birthday tomorrow and all of these things. And I've not made him a cake. I won't make him a cake because I'm terrible at baking. I'll buy him a cake. And does that make me a terrible mother? Do you know what? It doesn't actually really matter given mm -hmm. other things that are going on mm -hmm. personally and in the world right now. Yep. It's fine. It's fine. Stop and take stock and mm -hmm. cherish the really important things in your life. Oh, absolutely. Um, we're here today. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. When people walk in, what kinds of topics do you find are on their mind? What do they want to talk about? Gosh, that's so varied. Um, when people first come through the door, if it's their first visit, we don't know why they're here. Yeah. So they can come in and they, they might want to talk in great depth. They might want to talk in private. Some of them mm -hmm. will have quite a few tears. Mm -hmm. Um and really just need to spend some time being listened to. Mm -hmm. um, some people will come in asking for transport. They can't get to or from the hospital, uh -huh. so they need help with that. Others, because of the nature of our job, people will come through the door saying, um, I'm here to make a donation, mm -hmm. or I've come here, we get medical staff coming in to find out what we do. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a mixture of people all throughout the day coming in. How do you build a good team? We look for personality traits, I think. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. maybe a bit too overly complicated, making it like that. But it's actually, we're looking for it's people more about who are positive. It's as much about attitude as it is about aptitude. Okay. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. So if somebody was to come, come to us without necessarily the skill set needed, but um, they're going to be quick to learn, they want to learn... Uh, they're mm -hmm. just going to have a positive attitude and, and get on with it, then that's 80% of the battle done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, definitely attitude. That is the underlying factor. And also, and just hungry, um, not scared of being outside their comfort zone. Mm -hmm. um, every day sounds cheesy, is a school day, mm -hmm. but it really is. Ultimately, that would, that would be what I would say. Engage yeah. with the local businesses, use yeah. them or lose them. You know, again, I'm obviously going to think about my customers, but, you know, go visit the tower, go visit the toll booth, mm -hmm. pop into Mackenzie and Crookshank for a yeah. cup of coffee or just for a wander around. You don't even have to buy anything. Yeah. You know, engage with these businesses and organizations because they're what also are bringing people, visitors mm -hmm. into the area. Yep. And if the local people don't sustain that through the, you know, the shoulder seasons, mm -hmm. as I think they're referred to, these businesses won't necessarily, mm -hmm. you know, or organizations, you know, won't necessarily be able to keep going. Mm -hmm. So engage, you know, engage, use them. The businesses uh, are also the people taking the risk as well. They're the yeah. people putting themselves out there and giving great opportunities. The reason why you can buy wonderful Christmas decorations is because somebody has spent 30 to 40 years grinding away building out a business. Yeah, absolutely. And I think... You must need quite a bit of energy to work here and do the job that you do. Where does that come from? Um, 
It comes certainly just from from my passion for the job. This mm-hmm. is when I saw the job advertised. I, I said that would be my dream job, and it certainly is. There's not a day that I think I don't want to go to work. Um, so definitely the passion, just being able to know that in some small way we we can make a difference to someone. Um, and I think I'm also very lucky because I don't need much sleep. So, <laughs> so four o'clock in the morning, I'm usually up. I'm looking at my diary and planning uh-huh. ahead.